Hi, I'm Paul Kasabian and I'm a structural engineer and I'm holding an elastic band and you probably know that the more you pull on an elastic band the longer it stretches and it's interesting because this stretching and extension links through the same historical person to the work we were talking about recently on cables and arches. Robert Hooke back in the late 1600s was the one who discovered that when you stretch and pull on something elastic, elastic band in our time, or spring, then you pull twice as much, it extends twice as far. He did in Latin, ut tensio sic vis, as the extension, so the force. He's also the person who worked and developed on what I showed you where the shape of a cable under certain loads is the same as the arch under those loads, right? As hangs the flexible line, so but inverted, stands the rigid arch. So this person managed to connect these incredibly powerful concepts together. And fun fact, 350 years ago, he went to the same high school I did, Westminster School in the center of London, great school. Um, other things that he did back then was he also worked with Sir Christopher Wren, expanding his work on arches into domes to help uh, design and build St. Paul's Cathedral, the dome there, that cathedral. He worked on planning and architecture in London. He um, worked and argued with Isaac Newton on the gravitational uh, behavior of planets and the planetary motion. Argued with Isaac Newton. And then on a much smaller scale with microscopes, he looked at the cell structure of cork and then organisms like um, insects to understand that they and we are all made from cells. In fact, He's the one who called that structure that he saw cells, C-E-L-L. -L. That was Robert Hooke. And that was the work he did 300 to 350 years ago. And he went to the same school I did. Albeit, um, I don't think he did any YouTube videos. So in that respect, I think I won. Anyway, I did want to point out the main point here as, as I'm calling this video, look like Hook. If we can make observations, if we can understand the world around us, that power of observation, the power of analogy, the power of connecting different concepts together, then that way we learn and understand things that are around us and how they behave.